It doesn't matter what sport, it doesn't matter what level, every coach goes into the game with a game plan. It's extremely important to have a plan going into the game. I've never seen any coach at any level just say, you know what, we're just gonna wing it. Good coaches have good game plans. But you know what separates the good coaches from the great coaches? Often it's the halftime adjustments. I am a thinker planner by nature. I like to have things planned out as far out in advance as I can get, but you have to change those plans as you go because as anybody who's ever made a plan knows, nothing ever goes exactly according to plan. And you have to be prepared for halftime adjustments. I love Mike Zimmer, Vikings coach, because he's so good at halftime adjustments. I think that might be one of his best strengths is making those in-game adjustments. When you have a plan and things don't work like you thought they would, how do you adjust to it? How do you then make things work? I'm someone who sits down and makes plans for life all the time. I like to plan things out. I like to know where I'm going. I would love to see exactly where I'm gonna be a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. And I, I try to sit down and I try to plan that out as best as I can. But you have to understand that those plans might change. Maybe the devil is coming at you and he's hitting you this way, so you need to adjust a certain way because Quite honestly, things don't go according to plan. There is an enemy out there and there is someone that's trying to stop your plan. So sometimes you have to adjust a little bit. I'm not saying you give up. I'm not saying you deviate at all from what God's telling you to do. But it's so important for you to, to make those adjustments in game and not just stick with what you thought was the best thing to do. Even if you got it from God, he may have told you something to get you going a certain way. When all the time he knows that's just to get you to there, but then actually you're gonna end up going this way. Maybe he told you to get a certain degree so that you could work in this field, but really it was just to get the skills you needed so that you could work in this field, but have the skills that you needed from this. There's a lot of different ways and different reasons why your plan is not going the way you expected it to, but you have to be okay with that. That doesn't mean you stop making plans. You don't throw your arms up and say, well, things don't work the way I wanted to. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna, whatever. No, you make plans, but just be prepared to make those adjustments. So your plans will change, whether it's the enemy coming at you, throwing something you didn't expect. By the way, God did expect it. He knew it was coming, so he already had a plan for that. Maybe God changed your plan. Maybe God had you going one way when really he was trying to get you over here, but he knew that you had to get here to avoid this or to get this or whatever it is. Maybe you made a mistake. Maybe it's your fault you're in a situation. We make mistakes, mistakes happen. A team might have a plan to, to run the ball so many times, but Maybe they get down early because they fumbled the ball and they've made mistakes and their defense let stuff up and now they're down by 30 points. Well, you can't have that same slow, you know, easy does it kind of run the ball, stop the run kind of plan. You gotta score points. So sometimes you have to adjust because of a mistake you made, but God is so good at making these adjustments. So if you make a mistake and slip up, that doesn't mean that you've destroyed God's plan for your life or you've ruined what God wanted to do inside of you. He knows how to get you exactly back on track. All you need to do is submit yourself to him and his ways and his plan. Make those adjustments that he's telling you to make. Maybe you need to move here or move there or, or take a different job. Maybe there's people you need to stop hanging out with because they're a bad influence. Maybe there's places you need to not go because of what happens when you get there. So maybe as the year's wrapping up and you're coming up in January and you're gonna make goals for your life, but really it's a good time to kind of sit and reflect, did this year go how you wanted it to? Are you still uh, on track to do the things that you wanted to do in 2018? Reevaluate your goals, make adjustments. Maybe you are further along than you thought you were gonna be. Maybe you're not as far as you thought you were gonna be. Maybe God had you quit your job and move to Southern California and now you have no idea what's going on. But trust God, talk to God, readjust your plan, make the halftime adjustments, you might have to sit down next year and make adjustments again. You might have to sit down the year after that. You might have to sit down every month. You might have to sit down every single morning and readjust your plans, judging on how things went the day before. Maybe you had a job interview, you didn't get it, so now you have to readjust. Okay, I thought I was gonna do this. God, where do you want me to go from here? Every single day, you can sit down multiple times a day, sit down with God and say, okay, this didn't work the way I thought it was going to. What do I do next? So have a good plan. But don't be afraid to, every time you need to, as often as you need to, sit down with God, don't do this on your own, and make the necessary adjustments.